McAllister. I'm Public Information Officer Adrian O'Hanlon, and welcome to a behind the scenes look of the City of McAllister's water treatment plant. This video will show you how water gets treated and tested before it's delivered through our water line system to your home or business. So first things first, where do we get our water? Our water treatment plant receives water primarily from Lake McAllister, but it can also use water from Talawanda Lakes 1 and 2 and Lake Eufaula. Our plant first started operating in 1982 and treats 3.5 million to 5 million gallons per day to provide drinking water to the city of McAllister and five rural water districts. That natural water is first treated and goes through the distribution box. So let's hear from water plant superintendent, Jonathan Huff, about how it all works. And into three spaces, each one goes to a different clarifier. Where we add our chemical, like the initial chemical, the primary coagulant, it's behind this building. It's added directly into the raw water, so by the time it gets here, it's splash mixed and divides equally among the clarifiers. This box here divides it among the three clarifiers. These are called upflow clarification. The way that they work, when we add our primary polymer, the first initial polymer, this is where that magic happens. It creates a flock, binds up all of the, the turbidity, uh, all of the dirt and everything, and falls out. Basically like clarifying a swimming pool. It makes a blanket, the water comes up through that blanket, and as it comes through, that's why they call it upflow clarification, the blanket binds up even more dirt and creates more blanket here. This is our weir system. Whenever the water comes up, it flows over these weirs, and goes into this trough, and flows out, and then goes to our filter building. What he's gonna do, he's gonna grab a sample there, rinse his vial to make sure you got a good true sample and there's no contaminant. And you can see, this is just the first step in the treatment process. The water looks really well. Water also undergoes daily testing at the plant to ensure water quality and to comply with standards and regulations from the Oklahoma Department of Environmental Quality and the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. Here's more about that process. With the finished water samples. So basically we're getting an idea of what's coming in versus what's going out. The state has limits on pHs that we have to send to town which is one of the main reasons we run this test, obviously, so that we know what we're sending out into the public. After the first steps are completed, our water then goes through filters for more treatment and is stored in a clear well, which is a massive enclosed tank that stores filtered water before it's delivered to the water line system for consumption. Let's take a look at that part of the process. Clarifiers. It comes to this junction box here, which goes into this trough divides equally among the five filters. They filter through the bottom, they're multimedia filters. Filter through the bottom and they go and the pipe. Once we get to the effluent pipe, it's where we chlorinate and hit it with a phosphate to suspend heavy metals and keep them from coming out in solution. Then it goes into our clear well and our high surface pumps and sends it out to the town. It's actually this whole building, the back side of this is the clear well. And that's after the chlorine is added to it for disinfection. Uh, and that's the part of the process we have to add the chlorine on the back side of the, the treatment. Because if you add chlorine before, then your chemicals won't react. So in order to get that good treatment, then we have to get good disinfection at the end. And then this goes into this storage and our high service pumps pump it out to all the towers in town. From there, our water goes out to the towers and then the distribution system to your home or business. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. You can sign up for our citizen engagement app, McAllister Connect, by downloading it from your app store so you can submit a service request and keep up with everything going on in our community. Once again, I'm Adrian O'Hanlon for the City of McAllister, and I'll see you next time.